Hi everyone and welcome to this video about how to set up your Fasthost Exchange 2013 mailbox on Outlook 2016 for Mac. So just a quick heads up, uh, this video is for Fasthost customers and if you've stumbled across it and you're not a Fasthost customer, the, setting, uh, the settings for, this, uh, for the mailboxes are going to be completely different to what I show in this video so they probably won't work for you. In fact, I'd be very surprised if they did. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So I've already got Outlook open uh, on my Mac here. As we can see, I've got no account set up. So to add an account, I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to go to Accounts. And if you've got no account set up, you'll just be able to add an account here, and it's Exchange or Office 365. And if you can't find that option, you can just add it here as well under Exchange. The email address is the full email address you're trying to set up. So mine is hex at fasthostwebinars.com. And the method is username and password. And the username again is hex at fasthostwebinars.com. And password is just your mailbox password. Now the first thing you should try and do is leave this box checked for configure automatically. What that's going to do is try and use auto discover to find all your uh, account settings and you won't need to do anything else and it should get set up for you. So if we click add account and see what happens there. I'm just going to pause it here for a second as that sometimes takes a few minutes. So just uh, I'm pausing here for just for a second. You will get a couple of these security pop-ups, and just have a quick check through here. And this address here is what you're trying to connect. Is what you're connecting to. So that's safe to allow that um, to configure the settings. So always use my response for this server. Otherwise, you'll get this pop-up a lot. And just click allow. I'm just going to go ahead and no, I'm not because it's already done. So that's it. That's all done, and we will see. If we go to inbox now, we should see, yeah, my mails are getting downloaded. I haven't really got anything in that mailbox, uh, but that test message has been downloaded, so we're successfully connected. If for whatever reason auto discover didn't work, uh, I will show you the probable reason for it. So I'm actually on a Windows machine, so we'll just flip back to my desktop and go to my fastest control panel in my browser here. The reason auto discover might not have worked is due to a DNS setting for your domain. So we're gonna go and have a quick look at that setting and what you should do. We can, we're gonna set the man mailbox up manually. So don't worry if you really can't get auto discover to work, we're gonna go through the manual settings anyway, but I will just cover this off quickly as it's pretty straightforward. So in the fastest control panel, we're gonna go to our domains. And this is only if you've got your domain registered with fastos too. So if we go down to fastestwebinars.com, so this is the domain, you can look in the DNS settings here. And under the DNS settings, we've got CNAME records and the host name autodiscover points to autodiscover.1.exchange2013.livemail.co.uk. Bit of a mouthful, but if you haven't got that CNAME set up, then autodiscover is not going to work. So if you're having any problems, it's a good idea to try that first. And if you're still having problems after that, let's go through the manual setup. So let's go back to the Mac. Go back to the Tools tab, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to remove that account quickly because I don't want it to interfere at all. We'll add it again manually. So same again, just go through Exchange Office 365, email address, exactly the same as what I just set up. Oh wow, I keep making that same typo. I think I'd be better at typing now. And password is now about password. And now we're just going to uncheck check the box that says configure automatically. And the server is going to be one dot exchange twenty thirteen dot livemail dot co dot uk. And I've misspelled that. So just again, that's a good tip just to check what you've actually typed because that wouldn't have worked um, there we go add account and again we're probably going to see that security warning pop up or, or not it's just gone straight through because I already said it was okay on when I added it last time so that's gone through so this mailbox is set up but we want to get the full exchange functionality for it uh, that's what you're paying for after all so there is just one extra step we need to go through so if you just go to accounts 
and is it one the first thing you need to do ah there we go there's that security warning there we go let's allow that now the first thing to note is that you need to check this full name um, for the account because it will pick up whatever uh, account you're using on your Mac and I don't really want guest user because this information will go out on any emails you send out it's going to say from guest user and I particularly want that so let's just put my full name in there and now we're going to go to advanced and like I say there's just one little bit of extra step so in this server field here we're going to put w-i-n-h-e-x-b-e-e-u-1 now you might want to copy and paste this um, I'm going to link to the written version of this guide uh, in the video description and that server information is in there so if you want to copy and paste it you go ahead and it's in there for you too and we just want to tick user says l to connect as well and that is it we click OK that will be updated and that's all there is to it. And now your mailbox is set up with full exchange functionality. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.